So hello and welcome to uh, Three Questions With. Uh, I'm Derek Collins. I'm the Community Engagement Director for Concerned Veterans for America here in uh, Northeast Florida. Uh, and today I'm very happy uh, to have one of uh, Concerned Veterans' strongest partners, uh, Americans for Prosperity. I have uh, Skylar Zander, who's the State Director for Americans for Prosperity Florida, uh, to come share with us um, a little bit about AFP and how we all work together. So Skylar, welcome. Derek, so much. Thank you so much for for hosting this and giving people the opportunity to hear not only from the partners that you work with on a day to day basis, but also to hear about all the capabilities that we have within Americans for Prosperity and Concerned Veterans uh, for America. I think it's a really unique opportunity for you to talk about some of the great things that you're doing. So thank you. And as a uh, lifelong uh, Northeast Florida, born and raised boy through and through. Uh, it never hurts to always be able to jump on and talk to my friends in Northeast Florida. Yeah, thank you. So can you just kind of just give us a little bit of your background and, and uh, kind of share with folks that may not be familiar with America's Prosperity, what it is that uh, we do? Yeah, so I started with Americans for Prosperity as the deputy director back in 2015. And uh, since then, I've been promoted as state director uh, I started out focusing on legislative affairs and communications, and today um, I work with our donor partners. I work with ensuring that uh, each of our engagement directors, like you, Derek, have uh, the resources available to do everything that they can to uh, affect as much change and break as many barriers in their local community as possible. At Americans for Prosperity, including Concerned Veterans of America and the Libre, initiative, we're focused on ensuring that we're working with the key institution of government to break as many barriers as we possibly can for all Floridians. It's really important that uh, we try to uh, leverage each of our brands to make sure that we're doing everything that we can to affect change for the most amount of Floridians. And so that's what I get to wake up and do every day. Well, that, that's awesome. And, you know, listen, and I know that we've, uh, you know, over the past at least two years since I've really been involved that, you know, that a lot of barriers in the state of Florida uh, ha have been broken and that we're kind of the, you know, you know kind of you know, as humbly as possible, we're kind of the, the model for, you know, the, the rest of the nation for what we've been able to accomplish here in Florida. So, so I do appreciate that. So, um, so, you know, of course, the name of this is, is three questions with, and so I have just three simple questions uh, to ask you and to elaborate on as much as you're comfortable with. So are you ready? I'm ready. I just want to say one more thing, Derek, if you don't yep. mind. Um, we're also, you know, a lot of folks, and maybe your activists don't realize this, but we're the largest state chapter in the country. We're the preeminent chapter uh, in Americans for Prosperity. And what we've been able to accomplish uh, since my time and before my time uh, has truly been astronomical, uh, whether it's repeal of certificate of need, stopping Medicaid expansion, uh, just creating greater access for not only veterans, but for all Floridians. Uh, it, it, there's no one that has the record that we have when it comes to those things. So uh, thank you for your hard work and thank your activists and I'm ready for the three questions. All right, great. So the first one is, so how does the partnership between Americans for Prosperity and Concerned Veterans for America increase the impact that the individual veteran has on breaking down barriers that they face in society? What a fantastic question, but I think really it's about economy of scale, right? I think the, the beautiful thing about uh, what you're doing in Northeast Florida can be replicated in another part of the state, uh, even if we don't have a CVA field representative in that part of the state. Um, we truly believe that we're one network. Uh, we work together to ensure that every voice is lifted and is echoed as powerfully as possible. And so whether that's recently with the, uh, the halting of some pieces of the VA Mission Act reform that we were able to pass, um, that's a that's an all hands on deck call for us. You know, we had Americans for Prosperity EVs uh, working on that fight to try to amplify what uh, each individual veteran and activist was doing for concerned veterans of America. So, just truly having the ability to triple, quadruple, in some yeah. cases, our bandwidth is really the greatest opportunity um, that we have leveraging AFP and CVA together. Well, that that's excellent. You know, you know, when it comes to veterans, you know that you know there are certain issues that they face that seem almost that you know is unique to them. But so, so let me ask you this: Does a veteran's voice on issues that are not directly related to 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 veteran to to veteran issues does it carry the same weight uh, when it comes to non-veteran issues? 
Absolutely. I mean, veterans uh, have done everything possible to serve their country, and they deserve the same respect, if not more, in my opinion, uh, because of, of what they've been through and what they've had to sacrifice. And so we recognize that veterans uh, not only are unique because of their service above self, but also because uh, we understand that they're also really active in their community. They care about their com community uh, after leaving uh, the service. And so um, the more voices we can add, even on non-veterans issues, uh, the more the greater impact that we'll be able to have in the future. And so uh, regardless, I know sometimes uh, we have veterans engage on issues that don't directly involve um, issues with that veteran community, mm -hmm. But instead, we focus sometimes on issues that affect all Floridians, which also happen to uh, coincide with veterans. So um, great question. And I I'll tell you, their their impact and their voice definitely has a, a huge impact. Well, and, and I agree with that, too. You know, I think that the more veterans speak out on all things instead of just you know, the things that are concerning them, that that's always a, that's always a great thing. And people you know, tend to stand up and take notice. So, so the last question is, is, um, you know, at, you know, we're recording this and at some point in the future, you know, folks are going to be sitting here watching, watching this. So as they're watching this, what can they do now, right now, uh, to get involved here in the state in Florida, in the state of Florida on, on issues that are not just for veterans, but for, for all Floridians? Well, hopefully they're working with you. I mean, more yeah. importantly, uh, if they're watching this, I hope that they're working with you because you'll be able to guide them and help them. Uh, understand where they can leverage uh, their voice and where they can make the greatest impact. Um, yeah. Besides that, if, if, if you're new and you don't feel comfortable uh, directly talking to Derek, I would encourage you to go to americansforprosperity.org and, and look, figure this out. Try to make sure that you feel comfortable with everything that we're doing. Um, look, we don't agree with everybody 100% of the time. Uh, we never will, you know, um, regardless of who it is. But we know that we're gonna work with policy champions and others to make sure that their your voice, folks that agree with us is going to be amplified and that uh, all they have to do is contact you and you'll be able to help as a resource guide their voice in the right direction. And that and that's great. And I hope they do. And you know, as we broadcast this out, um, and the thing is that, you know, I know we do everything we can to make it so easy for folks to get involved. Um, you know, there's no, you know, all we ask is just that investment of time and, you know, but we will find something for you to do to, to, you know, make changes in this country. So Skylar, I do appreciate you, you know, being here today. I hope that this is an enjoyable experience for you. Um, I'm looking, looking forward to doing more of these in the future. Um, but thank you for being here today. And I just want to thank everybody for watching this. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, you can always leave, uh, those in the comments below or message us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So thank you. Thanks, Eric. Have a great day. You too.